Hi, welcome to Otter HP. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm going to install solar panels in my RV trailer. It's an adventure that has been coming for a long time. I've been wanting to do this project for a couple years now. Welcome to solar. Like a lot of you, I've done a ton of research. And about two years ago, I wanted to go, well, let's do solar panels. And then it was, do I really need solar panels? And the answer to that question is no. Do I want solar panels? Yes. So here we are. Welcome to It Doesn't Come Quick. And I say that being once we start getting that mindset in our head, it was do the research. What solar panels to buy? Welcome to the last two years, trying to talk myself into doing it. And I finally did, and I'm really happy about it, so I'm really looking forward to this job. I've got a friend joining me um, to give me a little bit of help. I'm a handy guy. I'm not an electrician. I'm not a solar installer. I'm none of that. I'm just a guy who owns a trailer and wants to do it. So join me on this one, and let's see how it goes. It will go good. If you haven't already subscribed to Otter HB, please subscribe to Otter HB. Here we go. Okay, so how I think this is going to go is I bought a solar panel package. It has two 100-watt solar panels from Renology. Renology, I think that's how I pronounce it. It's how I pronounce it. I don't know if that's right. It comes with the two panels, the controller, and then cables from the panels to the controller. From there, I still had to buy cable from the controller to the battery. I'm also going to put two fuses in, one coming from the controller, or coming from the solar panel down to the controller, and then one coming from the controller out to the battery. In all my research I've done, I've seen people who use fuses. I see people who don't. Um, to me, it just made sense to put a breaker in down here. And from where I'm going to place everything, it doesn't look too hard to do that. So there you go. And then from there, uh, run it over to the battery. I think step one is the way I see this happening is installing the solar panels, installing the controller, then the fuses, running all the cables, and then hooking it up to the battery. I'm taking my time doing everything, so we'll see how it goes. I'm really pretty excited. So let's go, kind of, step one. Okay, let's get started on the controller. Controller's actually going to go on this side wall here. So we're going to access everything through this cabinet right here. The hardest part was getting everything out of there and getting it cleaned out. Welcome to, we've had this trailer for two years, so every cabinet's full. But it's going to go. Here's the controller, and the way I picture this is it's going to sit right about here. And I picked this area here because I think it's a good spot coming down as far as running the cables on the inside. Then I can go straight down there. There's an area to mount the fuses and there's already an area. So that's where all the wiring comes into the trailer. It'll be easy to get it out. So here we go. Okay, let's start trying to figure out where we want it. 20. Okay, so if you watch my channel, you'll notice I do a bit of fishing. What I did here is I cut a hole and there's a little bit of space. Welcome to my tackle box, fishing line and a weight. I just want to make sure there's nothing down here because that's kind of what I want to do is run the wire here. So let's take a weight, hit the bottom. Oh, all the way to the ground. Awesome. So we have a clean shot all the way down. So the nice thing is I'll be able to put this get my spot, run the wiring down through the wall. It's gonna be awesome, perfect. It's what I was hoping. Okay, lines are in. 
there's the spot we've got it mapped out let's throw some blue tape on it i've already got straight lines so get ready to cut dimensions are right where they're supposed to be level everything's level it's time to cut let's do it There it is, nice new hole in the wall. Side to side's perfect. Top to bottom's perfect. So let's cut the inside. There we go, hole in the trailer. Okay, let's see if it's gonna fit. That's what it's going to finish product look like. That looks good. I like it. Wow. So there we go. Controllers installed. That is off our list. Now it's time to start working with the fuses to get the wiring to go between those two. So let's get started on that. Okay. So if we look inside here, this is where our wires are going to come in. And go out to the battery so it's a tight fun area to work but it's going to be a good area to do all this i think we're going to cut our wiring hole a little bit bigger so we'll be able to get in and out of there with wires so i think what i'm going to do is run it like that and i'll run them front to back so the wires can come in on the back side and then go that'll go straight down to the battery and then that will come over to there so we'll just write battery here and solar there okay so i think we're going to start working on some wiring and start getting it ready to run the wires up to the front so i think the first two we're going to work on are going to be the wires from the controllers down to the fuses so i can get those kind of where they need to be okay so i've got my wires cut for the right length from the controller down to where the fuse is going to be i already put it on here just to just because so what i need to do now is get the ends on for for them to connect to the fuses there's one so basically all i'm doing is putting a little sheath over it so I can get the heat gun and melt it up get it on there nice and good and we'll get it crimped down I've already set my crimpers for the right dimension That should be it on the crimp. Can't pull it off, so it's good. Get a little sheath protector over it. Got a heat gun. on high let's get it melted and get it protected good deal nice pretty connection so that will go on to the fuse we're good let's get this put in there yeah. fish though okay so here we go i think uh <clears throat> now that these are in Let's go ahead and just connect it to a fuse. 
blue is our battery. So the other side of this is going to come from the battery. And then the other one, which will be going up to do it the same way. This is going to be going up to the controller. So our solar panel will come in here and then go up to the controller. And there you have it. Coming in from down over on that side, over there. Now let's start working on the cables going up to the battery. Hey, here we go. I've tied the wires together. I know there's a hole right here. I had it marked that goes straight up into that area. So I should, okay, I should be able to feed it in right. That should be it right there. Go inside, take a look, see what happened. Let's get a light on in there. Oh, there it is. There, I thought I seen it. Anywhere? It's got to be up in here somewhere. Oh, right here. Came in from down over on that side. Awesome, it's in. Let me pull through enough to get it where it needs to go. Okay, we're going to start running the wires kind of how they did. There's a bunch of holes in the frame, so we'll just go that way, which will keep it safe. And then just kind of zip tie them up out of the way like they did. Well, for right now... I've got both wires to right here going all the way back to the panel, to the fuse, to everything. So we're pretty good right now. Now it's going to be finish running the wires from the panel down to the controller and hooking these up and we'll be done. It's getting close. Okay, so here we go. It's time. Let's uh, drill some holes up through and that's going to give us a place to run the wires from the panels on down. So here we go. Okay, holes in, lines out. So that'll run down through here and hook up, but now's the time, let's go get the panels up on the roof. Okay guys, time to get this up there. Let's go. Okay, so in theory, we're taking up everything we need. I'm curious how many times I'm going to be up and down that ladder because I don't have everything. So here we go. Okay, so I think that's kind of what it's going to look like as far as panel placements. Wires, then they're coming in down through there. Let's do it. So those are going to go in this guy. This guy goes in this guy. And then you've got so where do you want to put these things? I mean it's this is nice, it's back far enough. So air is not gonna affect these things at all. No. You got room to put your wires. Because we're gonna once they're all down, we're gonna put a big old splotch of die core. Right. Splotch, splotch. So if you pick you know, I was just trying to get away from that. Vent yeah, get away from the vent. Bit. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I think that's kind of it. And then what we should do is clean below these brackets out. Yeah. So that our die core. So I tell you what, if you tilt this side up.
Okay. Easy, you can take all the way home. Two more to do. Let's see if I can. Hold on. We can't leave. This is the one where we want the wires <coughs> in here. Hold on. Let me have. Let me have that. Ready? I, I got a better angle yeah. than you. Is what it... Okay. Let's go over the top of these, eh? Yeah. Yeah, just, just do a big old blotch, just like that. And then they'll, they'll spread all out. I think what we do is put a blob of die core below it, and then you just... Right there, right? Set them just like that. Yeah, I think it's clean as can be, so... Yeah. I'm gonna do this guy first. I'll just go. Right there. That's nice. Good. Okay, panels are on the roof and secured. Check this out. So here. Both panels, brackets, put a bunch of the die core around every bracket so nothing could come up. Same thing with the cables. Throw some die core on top of the cable. Once that stuff spreads out, those cables aren't going anywhere. Uh, there was a couple spots to screw the brackets in there. We're over there. Watertight, secure. It's awesome. Let's go down and connect it up and we'll have solar. Okay, we're getting close. Let's get uh, the fending here, which is gonna be the positive side. I don't know how much you're gonna see. This is going to be our first turn on, so solar's going to run, so let's see what happens. All I got to do is flip a couple breakers. So there's our breaker to, from the battery to the panel, and that should be solar. There it is. Do we have any? Yeah, take a look. Let's take a look. Actually, it's lit. It's showing right now. stuff <laughs> what is that it's showing stuff what does that stuff mean i have no clue we okay so here's the deal it's up it's running controllers right here art's gonna show us what it's doing here you go okay so your display shows right now let me get over 13.8 volts that which that is what the solar panels are bringing into the cistern, just charged 13.9. Uh, 
Uh, it's using a temperature seven setting of 77 for the calculations. And then your battery is at a 13.8. And then it's saying that 10.1 amps is coming in from the panels to charge your battery. That's it, simple and easy. Okay, everybody, solar is done. That's what it looked like when it started. Now, we've installed the panels, put them up on the roof. We installed the controller over on the wall, installed the fuses down by the control panel, ran all the cables, and hooked it up to the battery. So we have got solar and it's charging the battery. So I am really happy. It's been a long time coming. I really enjoyed do to, doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching. From there till the next one, if you enjoy, please subscribe to Otter HB. If you enjoy the show, give me a thumbs up for the like. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.